Hey, what's up guys? Trex here, and welcome back to another episode of Trex Completes Star Wars Battlefront 2. Last episode, we attacked something I just forgot. But, if you remember correctly, we are in the second half of the game, where we are now playing as Stormtroopers instead of Clone Troopers. And the next step for our campaign for total galactic domination is Mustafar Preventative Measures. Let's battle. All right, all loaded up. Here we go with the journal. Although the Clone Wars were over, some people never seemed to get the message. The worst case of denial was Gizor Delso, a Geonosian separatist who'd somehow escaped Lord Vader's efforts to wipe out the remnants of the CIS. Lord Vader tracked him to Mustafa and brought us in to finish the job. It seemed like a simple enough mission. Oh no, is it a the fleet dumb space over the planet. Okay, okay, we got this. We've had trouble in the past, but we got this. More dangerous than we'd imagined. All right, space battle time. Let's do this. Imperial Marine. So we'll have to get to the ship and blow up the insides. Sir, the droids have landed on our ship. We can't launch our fighters. Calm down, pilot. Oh, okay. So we have to uh, destroy that. I suppose. All right, and clear the hangar. So. Strafe around. Just shoot these guys down. Plasma grenade. Okay. So, this is interesting bit of lore. Um, like an outcast bunch of droids still, sort of fighting against the Empire. That's interesting. All right, but we we got this. We got this. Reload. Man, this gun takes a long time to reload. But that battleship is about halfway down. There we go. Alright. So, let's see if we can stick it with some grenades or anything. Not sure we'll be able to, but... Oh, yeah, we actually did get one. So, just stick two more in there. There we go. Can we back roll? We cannot. But we can recharge. So, we'll do that down here. Dang it, I can't recharge and heal at the same time. I have to choose one or the other. So, let's get over here. Maybe I can heal through this. Yes, I can. Perfect. That is a certified, genuine life hack. Just stand through this door. Oh, they roll a grenade. Oh, snap. That is not a life hack. Uh, life hack pro tip number 127. Avoid grenades at all costs because they are what we call dangerous. All right. Now let's just clear these guys out. So that, yeah. Okay, well, these guys, I hope, will die out eventually. And I'm just going to steal this. Wait, you can destroy an asteroid? Can you really? Oh, I never knew you could destroy asteroids. That's awesome. Oh, we already got one fighter. Sweet. We are doing... All right, just get a couple hits on him. Just recharge. I see the fighter. I see the whites of his eyes. Just hit him with something. Boom! We actually hit him with a bomb. Wow, that is just a shrivel of health. Uh, let's just fly away. I don't have the pilot, so I'm not going to be able to repair my craft as I fly. So that's not too good. But... Oh, are these homing missiles? Oh, they must be homing missiles. Uh, no, maybe not. Maybe they are. Oh, yeah, they actually might be, because... Or maybe that's just a direct hit. But, four fighters remaining. Let's get the Imperial pilot so that our ship repairs as we fly. Because a lot will be pretty sweet. Oh, man. Get him with the bombs. Come on. Oh, well... He took us out, but we also took him out. So that's all right. Come on, continue fighting. We'll get in the interceptor this time, because A, that's the closest one, and B, speed! And just, wow, interceptor is absolutely insane. If you remember, that's what uh, Darth Vader used in the trench run in episode four. Wow, that was close. But man, the interceptor is just an insanely fast craft. One fighter remaining. Alright, we got this. 
Just this last guy, suicide bomb into him if need be. Alright, just a couple more hits. Well, nope, not gonna happen. Auto turret got me, as usual. Alright, let's hop into the Imperial Marine. Just, you know, switch bodies, as you do. Get in here. Alright, and come on, one more hit. Just, come on, get him. I don't care if we sacrifice ourselves to get him. We just need to kill him. Just kill him already. Turn around. That is just a bright light. That's also known as the sun. Wow, good job, Trex. Had a nice moment of smartness there. Alright. Hit him with the bombs. There we go. Objective complete. We threw the grenades. Alright, now... Now we have to uh, attack their shields. So let's slow down. Avoid the asteroid. Because that would be pretty good, you know. Alright, get in the hangar. Come in for the... Well, alrighty then. We're going to go with this guy and go for the tie bomber so that we can effectively disable their shields in a reasonable amount of time well those are all going to miss possibly or not now I just need to get away from where the auto turret can hit me and then just go slow because that way we can destroy the shields as much as possible these these guns actually deliver quite the kick too so, that's pretty good. Just get a couple more shots off and zoom off into the night. I'll go silent into that. Good night. Turn around. There we go. Alright, now slow down. Just hit him with the final bombs. Final approach. Shields are offline. Lord Vader nice. just issued a new order. He wants someone to land in the enemy's hangar. Steal one of their strike bombers and return it to our hangar. Alright, rather odd request, steal one of their bombers, but okay. I guess we'll do that. Man, if we had the interceptor, we would just be zooming around. But alas, we don't. I wonder why we're taking the bomber. Oh! Huh. Well darn. I wonder what that could be. How do I land again? There we go, space. Gee! What sort of bomber ship could this be I wonder who flies this huh 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 that's odd it's oddly familiar if you can't tell I'm being sarcastic you might have lived under a rock all your life alright careful now so careful and land it there we go Objective complete. Is the mission complete? Yeah! Victory! There we go. Now I think we only have a couple more actual battles before we are done with Battlefront 2. The slight whiff of nostalgia the 501st had enjoyed fighting the droid fleet over Mustafar had already grown sour by the time we'd established orbital positions. Now it was time to find out what this was all about. All right, you got to find out what it's all about. But that is for next episode. So thank you all so much for watching this episode of Star Wars Battlefront 2 with T-Rex CW. Uh, next episode, we will attack Mustafar again, tying up loose ends. But that is for next Tuesday. So thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. And goodbye.